was sports prefect for his set and at uh, an early period of his career he actually served as an other ranks at the Amur Corps the Nigerian Army in Azari of Chi State. Thereafter we did a general Usman gain admission into the Nigerian Defense Academy where he obtained the bachelor regular combatant course where he obtained a bachelor de degree in physics and was commissioned into the Nigerian Army Infantry Corps as a second lieutenant in 1995 and was posted to 177 Battalion in Ibada. Brigadier General Usman attended the following military courses, counter-terrorist course, infantry young officers course, anti-tank platoon commander's course, range management course, infantry company commander's course, junior division staff course, senior division course. With respect of his operational experience, he served in the Air Corps in Sierra Leone. He also was involved in operations. Lafayette Dolly in Northern Borno and also in Southern Borno. His command experiences included battalion commander, guards battalion, Kempi. He was garrison task force brigade. He was command, AHQ garrison task force command, brigade commander in Baga and Uguno. And uh, was commander 28 task force brigade in Chibok. He received various letters of commendation, including one by General Etewe as uh, commander of the Guards Brigade for helping in, in, in maintaining a crisis in Nasarawa State. And uh, he also received yet another commendation from the Soviet Chief of the Army Staff, General Farouk Yahya, for his judicious handling of security issues within his area of responsibility in the FCT, Nasarawa State and parts of Niger State as commander of the Guards Brigade. His hobbies include playing football, swimming, and studying comparative religion. He is happily married to pharmacist Dr. Rekia Mazai Usman, seated by him, and the union is blessed with three lonely children, Muhammad Awal, Mariam, and Suleiman. Your Excellency, Mr. President, may I humbly present you the commander, Gaz Brigade, decorated with new rank of Major General was approved by the Army Council of the 15th of December 22. In doing this, Mr. President, will be assisted by by you will be assisted by the Chief of Army Staff and the spouse of the Major General. Thank you. Thank you.
diferença. And very able members of the uh, aides of the president. Good afternoon. I am indeed honored to have been promoted to the rank of Major by the President who is in charge of the Army Council. The President actually has been of a very great support to Guard Brigade. I can remember there was a time I woke up to the President to tell him about the need to re-equip Guard Brigade. Immediately, he gave the go-ahead for Guard Brigade to be re-equipped. By that, it means that we are, as Gas Brigade is expecting about 420 ammo fighting vehicles in Gas Brigade. <laughs> that has never happened in the history of Gas Brigade. It will really help to secure Abuja, Nasarawa State, which is our AOR also, and parts of Niger State. It will also help the Army, as the Corps told me in his office. I also want to thank the Minister of XET, our Governor, for also giving us an enabling environment to operate, Your Excellency. And I also want to thank my excellently able Corps, Chua Army staff and Chua Air staff for all their direction, their guidance, and their support to Gas Brigade. I also want to thank every member of the Villa community for all the cooperation we have received so far, and I know the cooperation will continue. The one thing that I'm very happy about is that what the President approved for us will be mostly enjoyed by those coming behind us. That is leadership for me, at least. <laughs> it will help to secure Abuja, as I've said earlier on. Also, on my own, we are on, we are already constructing a commission for 20 officers of Guard Brigade. 12 of those officers will stay in two two bedroom self contained flat, while the remaining eight officers will stay in one bedroom self contained uh, flat uh, accommodation. Right now, we are already roofing the accommodation. I believe one day it will be completed. That is another achievement I will say we have achieved. Sir. The time is past spent. Once more, I really thank. President, we shall continue to remain loyal to Mr. President and the Constituent Authority because we know our loyalty will go a long way in providing other people's enabling environment to play their own role. Once more, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. President. I'm grateful. And his family. I saw only one lady beside his wife. <laughs> Who is she? Oh, I see. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I listened to uh, 
uh, what you went through. I congratulate you. You are lucky to have the health and the ability to go through all that you have gone through to this stage. Um, I think uh, having been in detention, I know how valuable commanders are. <laughs> Since uh, nobody was able to touch me while you are around, I congratulate you for that. <laughs> Um, military service in, uh, in a developing country is a terrible thing. Um, I went uh, from second lieutenant to major general, coup counter, coup civil, coup counter, coup detention. I think it's a terrible experience. I am pleased you have succeeded so much uh, without. Uh, the suffering I went through. Um, I think I will uh, have to discuss with the Chief of Army staff what to do with you <laughs> <laughs> after leaving here because I myself is about to go and I'm deciding to be as far away from Abuja as humanly as possible. Uh, now, um, I never had any cause to report to you, either to the Chief of Army Staff or to the Minister of Defense or to anybody. <laughs> Having known the military, for me to be virtually absolutely satisfied with your performance, I congratulate you. I don't think I'm an easy man to satisfy. <laughs> Those who are watching close <laughs> to me know that I'm too demanding. I congratulate you for surviving that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Madam, I apologize for all the inconveniences I caused. Thank you very much. <laughs>